for cheap, fast, and reliable coins, make sure to head on over to CoinBank UT and make sure to use code Poodle at checkout for 15% off. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get a free Ultimate Legend pack. So, if you guys don't already know, this is for people who might not keep in touch with it, or also, I'm not just going to be telling you how I'm going to give you tips on how to, so stay tuned for all of that. So, first off, thank you guys for all the support. As per usual, you guys have been showing crazy love in all my videos. Our channel has doubled in views, subs, everything in the last two weeks, so... Just appreciate you guys for all that, and if you're watching now, go down below, drop the sub. We're about 44 away from 400, so get me to 400, guys. Appreciate it now. Let me not waste any more time. Let's get into this video. So, for the if you go over to Seasons and you head over to the new House Rules Challenge, I know I might be a little late on this, but I'm sorry. There's the Green Zone Challenge. So, the way this works is, in this event, all offensive touchdowns between 10 and 20 yard lines are worth double. That's 12 points for scoring in the sweet spot. So, if you guys know what that means, that means from the end zone where you're going to score in, wait, between the 10 and 20 yard lines are worth double. Okay, yeah. So, I'm pretty sure that means within 20 yards. I don't know if that, does that not include the first 10 yards? In this event, offensive touchdowns between the 10 and 20 yard lines are worth double. Okay, yeah, so I'm pretty sure that just means anything from the red, like the red zone. So, anything from the 20 to the, to the touchdown. So, no long touchdowns pretty much this week, so... That doesn't mean don't do it. That means that the challenge is telling you that you don't want to get long touchdowns this week. You want red zone touchdowns. Now, this this is a nice challenge because you don't have to actually try to get these points. Like, a majority of this year, a lot of touchdowns are in the red zone, aggressive high points. Like, this is kind of already natural. Now, the way people are going to be playing this, pretty much, is that they're going to be trying to get into the red zone not they, they might not even take a long touchdown. They might break loose and then go down at the one just to get a touchdown on you. That's fine. Let them do that. People, maybe this might be the week where you play a little more conservative defense. But the thing is that I won't be doing that. What I'd be doing is, is I'm going to play this. So just per every week, the way you play these challenges are that you do kind of the opposite because everyone's doing one thing. So like that week where it was anything above like a 30 yard rushing touchdown or 50 yard rushing touchdown is 20, whatever it was, 14 points, 12 points, whatever it was, I forgot what it was. That week, everyone was running the ball. So guess what? It was very easy to stop people. A guy would literally come out all four downs running the ball, and they wouldn't care if they turned the ball over because they'd come out and they'd run it again, think they're just gonna catch up in points with the twelve. So the way you play it was you did a you 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 uh you sat in a neutral defense, not a run heavy defense because that's where people got burned. So I didn't run the ball that week. I passed it because everyone came out in like five down linemen, pinch corners, safeties in the box. So what I did, I just kept sending it over the top. I got 7 points, 7 points, 7 points. I kept scoring. I, got, I scored like 40 points. Now, obviously, it took me like 8 touchdowns, like 7, you know, 6 to 8 touchdowns of just regular touchdowns. Now, could I have gotten there with only 3, 4 rushing touchdowns? Yeah. But everyone's coming out in 5 down linemen, pinch corners, safeties in the box. So the smart thing to do that week was to play the opposite way because people weren't expecting it. People want, people were just selling out for the run. And when you sell out, it's in if you're a good player in Madden, I wouldn't call myself that great. I'd say I'm a good player. I wouldn't say I'm like a competitive player or anything. But when you're a pretty good player in Madden, if you play me one-dimensional, you're going to get burned. If you sit on the run, I'm going to pass it. If you sit in the pass, I'm going to run it. The people who are good, against me at least, do everything. People who know how to play everything is the ones that make me struggle because I, 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 I look to manipulate the defense and do what they're not covering. Now, in regards to this one, the way you can attack this is just play your regular offense. Don't even think about the challenge and it will come naturally because naturally you're going to get long crossing routes. You're going to get long posts. You're going to get them. You're going to get chased down. You're going to get down in the red zone. You're going to struggle to score in the red zone. It's just going to be a very simple game. But the way I would play this is when you're in the red zone, people are going to try to sell out for something. They're going to try to sell out for the high points. So maybe don't go for the high points, you know, or, or vice versa. Those are still a piece. You could force them, but what people are going to be trying to do this week, they don't have a specific thing to cover, so they're just going to try to make sure you don't score. They might even let you get down the field. They might even they might just play a deep coverage just so that you can't get down the field to so just keep running the ball. There's a lot of ways to play this. It depends, but yeah, I can't tell you specifically, but I'm going to tell you what people are going to be doing. So if they're sitting in a deep coverage because they, they don't mind you getting over there, they just don't want to let you score within the red zone, and they're, they're just playing back. They're not letting you score, and they're going to let you take field goals. So that's fine. Take your field goals because at the end of the day, people who sell out probably aren't that good anyways. They're gonna come out and oh. Now a lot of people on oh are gonna they might be going, they might take a deep crosser and then go down at the one. So maybe you just let them score the one. I mean it, it all depends on how you're playing it. Obviously, if you're down fifth four, you know, you're down by eight, nine, ten points, you're gonna wanna go for this. You might want to stop yourself too. So it's very it's very relative to what your game's looking like. So this week's a very weird one. This one's not gonna be very specific. But if you do win, you get this ultimate legend fantasy pack and an 87 plus stopper. 
is this a good one not so much i mean in comparison to the other weeks i personally preferred the nap because it didn't help it helped more people than it hurt per se because like obviously i couldn't use the player that i would get but a lot of people with bad teams who are who've been grinding they don't spend money they don't have enough time to play they could have used this they could have used those players like a free 95 player to 98 player was very huge for their team now the ultimate legend fantasy pack has its benefits obviously you get coins you can get this is more this isn't that right but the issue is that if you get an 89 overall and then the 87 toppers and 87 you will cap out at about 40k and this kind of sucked right i mean obviously you get the 40k coins this is never a loss because you get 20 series trophies and 40,000 coins in the in a pack but if the pack doesn't you know hit if you don't hit on the pack then it kind of sucks i probably would prefer the nap because i could just sell it for some training and i could use it i can make it a backup chemistry anything but yeah i mean not the best week but if you're gonna do it i'll probably be doing this on stream at some point today maybe post one and then do the rest on stream but if i were you guys definitely do it just dude, get knock it out of here if you have the time obviously but don't 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 go for just the challenge because if you haven't realized by any youtubers or anything yet going for the challenge is how you lose people people literally only play the challenge literally only played the challenge so they don't know how to they don't have to adjust and this one's gonna be there's not much adjusting to really be done on this one i mean if you really really look at it 10 to 20 yard lines are worth double a majority of the touchdowns are in the red zone i mean or deep touchdowns the only thing i could see is maybe less deep touchdowns maybe people are going down before i might this might just this might be preventative of one play touchdowns which would be dumb because if i were you guys i'd take my one play touchdowns because if you guys have if you guys don't know in this year in the red zone it's not the easiest to score anymore unless you're doing high point phase but if you don't got a calvin and a nice quarterback and a good line you know for those high point fades you know if you don't got that i personally think that the red zone's a little difficult to score this year and if you don't have the best run game or the best team so personally if you get if you get a deep crosser score don't don't go down score score again because realistically if this kid's gonna keep playing the, the person you're playing is gonna sell out the way when i when someone sells out on me i know on offense i'm not worried when people are doing adjustments and they're locking everything, that's when I'm worried. But when they're when they're selling out for one thing and they're not adjusting, I know I won already. If you're not adjusting, you you already lost. It's, it's how it works. So you got to see what the guy's doing. And if you guys need any help on this, just hit me up on Twitter. Comment down below. Also, comment down below what you guys get out of this pack. I'm kind of interested to see how you guys all do. And the majority does at least. I'm trying to survey this a little bit because I have not hit too much on these packs. I mean, I did get a 95 Calvin one time, but that's how to like all my. But I mean, all mine's are free. I don't really open that many to be honest. But yeah, definitely going to be trying this. It's definitely worth it. And the way to win this week, like I said, is very, very different than usual. It's not like something you could, you can't really scheme for this. Just, just play normal. Go for your, take your touchdowns. Never, never give up points in order to try to get more. Like, don't gamble your points. Like, if it's a field goal, take your field goal. If it's a six-point touchdown, take your six-point touchdown. Don't go down just to try to get the 12 within the 10 to 20. It's not worth it. You know what I'm saying? Just, just play the game normally. This is a week, like every other week, we just play the game normally abuse them offensively defensively and things will go right for you hopefully you guys will get this and it sucks that wasn't a duo event because if it was a duo event i would have linked up with the sub right now and would have done it with them like i did the other weeks it feels nice to help them out get a player and then i can grab and get something and it's because i need a partner anyway so it works for everyone but yeah this is about it um stay tuned for the rest of the day i'll probably be doing this one this video some sniping filters i might even post the gameplay say people said they want to see gameplays they don't know if i'm good or not so i gotta post the gameplay for you guys and that's probably about it right sniping filters this one and the gameplay so stay tuned for that if you guys want to be seeing all that and you're enjoying the content go drop the sub down below so you guys can catch up on all that later and i'm you know i'm still working on the still working on the channel still getting more graphics so stay tuned for all that you don't want to miss it that's about it for this video guys i'm out see you guys later